October 2019, heads of state and celebrities mingled. It was all handshakes and congratulations, with not a face mask in sight. The two-day Global Fund pledging event in Lyon raised $14 billion to fight tuberculosis, malaria and HIV. Uganda is one country that receives aid from the Global Fund. It's a nation with a high disease burden, and the number of people living with HIV is estimated at more than a million. However, support from the fund saw AIDS-related deaths fall by 38% between 2012 and 2017. What does HIV look like? It looks like me. Martha Clara Nakato has HIV. She's an activist with a network in Uganda supporting young people living with the condition. Even from the beginning of the development of the Global Fund, I am proud to say that uh, the Global Fund has saved millions of lives. And without it, I doubt whether people like me, you know, people who come from the poorest countries, the poorest continents, would be alive. The COVID-19 pandemic put a pause on health protection schemes, like providing mosquito nets to the whole country. But malaria kills upwards of 70,000 people in Uganda annually and remains the number one challenge for the government. When the French president hosted the conference last year, the focus was on TB, malaria and HIV. But the coronavirus outbreak has seen wealthy Western nations divert their attention to their new health issues at home. For the Global Fund, the major financial issue is not that countries might default on pledges, it is that even more cash is needed to fight 2020's unprecedented pandemic. What is a little more uh, of an issue, I would say, is that more money than the $14 billion is going to be necessary in order to help countries fight COVID-19. So that is, one of the, that is one of the issues which I suppose uh, we are all mobilized is to find additional money in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. The coronavirus has created a new worldwide problem and a challenge for global health actors, trying to balance combating the pandemic and continuing to work on eradicating the well-known and well-established diseases.